Hey guys, Luna here and welcome back to another Player Unknowns video for Xbox One and today is kind of where are we on the next update video. It's been a while already since the last patch, 9 days now and it's been silent as well from Xbox Nico and I want to discuss that plus go over some of the changes we will see in the next update with a new list of bugs that are being worked on and it also tells us which ones will be added to the next update. If you find the video helpful hit the like button, I do appreciate that. Now yesterday there was an update to the official known issues list to the game, updating us on the latest bugs and issues currently in the game and we can see what's being worked on and what's being fixed already and will be in the next patch. Before we look into it though I wanted to talk about the lack of communication with Xbox players which is kind of going back to what it was before Xbox Nico took over. It was good for a while but zero information given to us from Xbox Nico. In fact he hasn't posted much of anything in the last 8 days only saying the following on Twitter. Most recent client side patch was last Wednesday the 21st. We have stated that we are moving to a 2-3 to three week cadence on patches. We have nothing to announce on patch 12 at this time. So it appears as though patch 11, which rearranged the inventory and added a new plane counter, was the big 3 weekly patch we were promised. Which I did like those features, but it didn't really feel like much content for 17 days between patches, which was the time between update number 9 and 11 with 10 being a hotfix. So that means it could still be several weeks before we see the next big update with new content which hopefully has a lot more content than was added in the last one. Before then though I am expecting to see a new bug update or a hotfix especially as yesterday the official bugs list was updated and here it is. To start off these are the issues that are under investigation or are in the process of being resolved. So I'm just going to go over all of them. When the stack split user interface is open and closed in a vehicle the vehicle cannot move so that's kind of frustrating. When playing the game for the first time and a controller disconnect message is displayed before creating a new character the message does not go away after pressing A. The character becomes stuck inside an object when object loading is delayed. When free looking whilst moving and reloading the character will automatically face the direction of the free loop camera when the reloading is finished. There are bugs under investigation for other players being invisible, vehicles spinning and flipping randomly. When players reconnect from the crash, the character cannot get into the plane and all variables say false. After entering a match, dead zone settings are reset. A crash occurs when repeatedly switching between multiple players when spectating. A performance drop occurs when rapidly switching between players in spectator mode. Connection failed error appears when attempting to reconnect after a crash or pulling the LAN cable. When a player dies in the water, the hold breath user interface remains in spectator mode as well. Upon collision, vehicles may become entangled and unresponsive. Multiple sections of the dirt layer are clipping through the road along the highway on the way to the military base. Players are able to see inside the terrain in certain unturned vehicles. Active matchmaking animation continues to be displayed after matchmaking has cancelled. Customization menu backgrounds is applied to the main menu by switching menu screens rapidly. When the aim acceleration is set above 6, the acceleration applied is much higher than intended. When changing seats, the HP bar turns red and the equipment icons disappear temporarily. Scope reflection for the 4 scope is too bright. Quick scroll function is not working with controller binding preset type B. When wearing certain shoes, player ankle areas appear to be cut off. Some hairstyles and hair color combinations cause visual glitches. Players can walk forwards or backwards but not right or left and that's a really annoying one. Happens to me all the time and it's personally one of the bugs I hope they fix sooner rather than later. Sometimes pressing a different button rather than the designated X button will allow players to pick up an item anyway. Light leaks through corners and seams between walls inside all Erangel buildings. Player sometimes fails to rejoin a match after quitting while reloading into the match for the first time. Ground textures in front of buildings in the shooting range are displayed incorrectly. The first item slot in player inventory does not appear selected when scrolling to it. When searching for a match, only the squad leader is able to cancel matchmaking, while other players are unable to do so and can only leave party. In third person perspective, when switching seats in a vehicle whilst it's turning, the vehicle appears to stutter. Button to switch the 2-3 to three man squad mode sometimes does not work. Wearing certain shoes or clothes has player skin exposed through them. And finally, when wearing certain shoes and pants, the shoes clip through the pants. So that is all the currently known bugs being worked on. There are some other ones which are ongoing, such as performance issues and stuff like that. But that's all the individual bugs that they are planning to fix or are working on. But here are the ones already fixed and to be added to the next update. And there's not too many. The dotted line leading to the center of the safe zone is sometimes inaccurate. After dropping the primary weapon in the imagery screen, the slot it was in remains selected. 
When the stack split user interface is on, the Y button, RT, map, inventory closing functions are still usable. And that was one of the bugs I went over when I went over the last update. The revive action is being cancelled every 60 seconds from the match start. The blue zone warning message is not showing. Safe zone guideline is pointing the wrong direction. When the stack split user interface is on in a vehicle, other actions are still available. A typo in English text, it says spectating, not spectate. Vietnamese and Turkish text is broken in the world map help menu. When obtaining equipment, relevant icon is not applied to the HUD. Player sitting position is displayed irregularly when switching seats on the motorbike. And finally, in certain situations, a vehicle can suddenly jump into the air. But guys, that is a quick update on the next update, which will be a bug fix most likely, and when we can expect to see the next big patch with new content. Let me know in the comments if you were happy or not with update 11 being the big three weekly update that we were promised. It didn't really add too much. I did like the changes. I was just expecting more for the time. I will be back soon with more videos, so turn the notifications to get vids as soon as they come out, including news, updates, and guides for sure games, especially Player Unknown's backgrounds. And check out the links on the screen for more similar videos to this one. And guys, I will see you all next time. Peace out.